All right, so in this video, we're going to set up our computer and uh, get the IDE and the JDK all in. So the first step is to go to JDK download. So just search that up, JDK download, and hit this link over here. And then you're going to get a page that looks like this. So all you want to do is click this box up here. And then I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to do it again. But all you have to do is accept license agreement. And then you can pick whichever computer you are using. I would, I'm would i using a Mac o, or, or an iMac, so I'm going to choose this option over here. And then after you've done that, you're going to get a icon that you'll have to double click and then it's going to install everything for you and you'll be all set. Now after that all of those steps have been completed, you want to go to Google again and then all you're going to search up is Eclipse or whatever um, IDE you'd like to use. Personally, I do recommend Eclipse just because it's a great IDE to start off with. So hit Eclipse, Eclipse download right there. and hit this uh, the link to go to download and all you want to do is you want to get Eclipse Oxygen so uh, that's the one that I use so hit download 64 bit and all you're gonna do is hit this download button and then you, it's gonna ask you to install it and then you're gonna launch it and it's gonna that's how it's all gonna work out so after you have done all of that let me try to find my Eclipse, Eclipse, Eclipse installer. So this is how you're gonna, how it's gonna look like when you first start off. And then what you want to do is you want to pick Eclipse IDE for Java developers, and you're gonna hit install, and you're gonna let it install. It will take a few moments, and you, and if this license comes up, then just hit accept, and let it. To let it install and then after it is installed it's going to show you a launch button just show just hit the launch button and it will load it should look something like this the oxygen 3 point sorry oxygen point 3a and then it's going to show you this eclipse launcher just hit launch and then it's going to set it up And then it should look something like this. Well, obviously the default, the default would look something like uh, this. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna get the classic default, and it's gonna look like this. So that's how the default looks like. But if you do want the dark mode, all you have to do is you have to go to um, preferences. Hit the general tab and then it's gonna go to appearance and then inside appearance all you have to do is hit dark and then just apply and close. Yep, and that is about it.